Hey guys, welcome back, or Bomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO content. I need to get like a new intro because like, I can never even say my own intro, right? Hey guys, welcome back, or Bomb here, bringing another episode of our PTCGO content. I just got like down in practice in the mirror, you know what I mean? Uh, we're bringing you another episode, which is like the fourth time I said that. Um, thank you guys so much for dropping by to watch the episode. I do have a code for you guys, I'll put it right here, as well as, you know, the... Um, like I've been doing the uh, two sun and, the two roaring skies on one sun and moon pack I'll be giving out to commentators that comment down below asking the common question today. I didn't do that in the last episode. Um, I forgot to be honest, but a lot of you did comment anyways, so I'll be giving out a code then. <clears throat> and a lot of people keep asking me like, do you really give out these codes? I had a live stream where I actually like on stream gave out the codes, so it's a real thing. I don't, I'm not lying about that. But anyways, um. We're gonna start today's episode. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start revisiting some cards that I want to play. I pretty much played everything I did want to play. At some point, I'll play Primarina and um, Serena and Incineroar, but I'm gonna wait till I build better decks and can like really strain them out because they're they're kind of hard cards to play for and play with in standard, um, at least to make them good. I know that there's gonna be a bunch of cards that make them better in the next set, but um, I'll touch on them later. For now, I want to touch on Solgaleo because Solgaleo looks really cool. Um, I like Solgaleo a lot right now and this is a deck I built I took a book I took a page off of Dennis's idea so shout out to him <clears throat> a lot of people have been th coming up with this anyways but he did it on his channel and uh, shout outs to him real quick it is Sogaleo Dark Tina pretty much but without the Garbodor um, so yeah a lot of you guys already know because my Sogaleo Lunala deck was one of my most popular decks for whatever reason it was really funny I really liked it that was a fun deck that's a really fun deck to play but um we have Sogaleo GX 250 HP insane amounts of HP with the ability Ultra Road once during your turn before you attack you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon so a great Pokemon ability right there <clears throat> the attack Sun Steel Strike discard all energy attached to this Pokemon but does 230 damage so it's a nice hard hitting attack and then Soul Burst GX switch your deck for up to five energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. And let me repeat that, five energy cards, non-basic energies. You can use basic energies too, but you can essentially attach four double dragons and some rainbow energies too, without having to attach your dark energies. Really, really cool card. I like the, I like the effect of being able to do that. Um, so we are going to play pretty much Dark Tina. <clears throat> We're going to have our two shamans, our, I think two Dark Ray. Yeah, I built this deck a long time ago, so forgive me. We have our two Dark Rays with Dark Pulse attack that's way more damage for each Dark Energy attached to your Pokemon, which is cool because double Dragon Energy and Rainbow Energy will count as Dark Energies, so it does add up as a Dark Ray. Two Giratina because it's a good Pokemon with the ability with the ability Renegade Pulse for preventing all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Mega Evolution Pokemon, which means things like Scizor can't discard your Double Dragon Energies and um or like damage you at all and then chaos wheel your opponent can't play any tool special energy cards or stadiums from his or her hand um next turn which is a cool attack prevent locking them out and then we have uh salmon salmon has the attack bc fang which is essentially a volcanion killer <clears throat> or a mirror match killer it has a uh, 50 more damage for each ex on your opponent's side of the field so for like um let's say they have three exes on the field you hit for 160 if that's a fighting fear but you hit for 170 which is a lot and that's including their active spot too not just their bench which is a uh, very very common we do have our 313 line of Solgaleo GX we are playing three rare candies as well uh, one special charge because we do have a lot of special energies um, four trainers mail because we are playing rare candy so I do like to play four trainer mail four ultra ball four BS seeker I think just two parallel city <clears throat> yeah also forgive me guys I'm feeling a little bit under the weather um, but I want to get some videos out for you guys as it's been a bit uh, I am playing one delinquent because we're playing parallel and I think if you're only playing parallel you should always pair with delinquent I'm playing one hex maniac two Lysander three and one Kukui and four sycamore So hopefully we have a solid enough draw supporter line. So we'll always get stuff I am playing one Skyla if I'm not playing four rare candies I, t I generally like to put in one Skyla not too sure how I feel about it yet, but uh, you will see uh, I'm playing two Fighting Fury Belts, and then of course our four, four, five line of energies. And that's gonna be the deck, guys. Let's go ahead and get some games and see if we can have a good time. I just wanted to play something that wouldn't like cause me to rage, but then again, it is um, PTCGO, 
raging is what I do. That's why you guys come to watch my stuff, right? You guys love seeing me get angry. I've had, I had like, I have little kids that actually come up to me and be like, they, they, they literally come up to me and be like, yo, did you, you remember that video you, you put up yesterday? And it was really funny because like, because um, your flare out is prized and you were just like, of course it was prized. That was actually a real thing that happened to me, dude. Kids love to watch me, watch me suffer. I don't get it. <clears throat> oh, look at this start. Hello. This is kind of amazing. I definitely don't want to play end this turn, so I'm thinking about ultra balling it away. Um, if we can keep our if we can keep our little Nebby alive, that'd be kind of nice. I might have to put down another one just in case, though. Um, oh god, oh that's scary. Um, let me play this first. Um, belt, that's terrifying. I don't think they can attack turn one. <clears throat> Something to keep in mind, I guess. Um, I do want to go ahead and do this. <clears throat> ah, grabbing Giratina sounds like such a bad idea. But I want to put down Pokemon before I do my stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and play like Balls of the Wall Risky. And I'm going to grab... I can actually grab a... No. Let's grab a Salamence. I'll go ahead and do this. Uh, if he knocks out my Nebby, then I have every reason to play, um, then I have every reason to play Sycamore next turn. <laughs> but hopefully they don't, uh, they usually can't, they, like, a lot of them have to play, like, like, land three max elixirs, which is really hard to do in, um, in Rainbow Road. Uh, and then a lot of them also have to, uh, what's it called? Um, I can't think of what it's called right now. Um, they have to land one max elixir, attach a DC, and switch, which is difficult for, um, Rainbow Road to do, and they already attach an energy, so it's not even a worry anymore. Um, parallel is going to be really nice, hopefully I can find the parallel. If I can evolve next turn, I can Ultra Road, because I have Ultra Road, so there's no real reason for me to play Flow Star or anything like that, as long as I can pull off the Ultra Road play. Oh, it's about to storm, too. Oh, God. What a wonderful morning. Not feeling well. Got a test later today. <clears throat> it is 6 a.m., so that's why I'm saying that I woke up really, really early. Just so I can get this video out, because I do want to study, because I have a test today, tonight I should say, and I have another test um, tomorrow morning. So after I get this video done, I am leaving, and I am going to spend the next couple of hours just grinding. My brain will be hurting by the end of the day, I promise you. <laughs> and I don't want to come back home, because we saw it happen yesterday when my brain hurt. No! This guy's a scumbag. I only have three cards, why would you end me? You're a scum. Oh my god, please. Oh! Garbage. He is a garbage person. <laughs> Do I want to put down two Sogaleos? Because at this point, if I can get off another Sogaleo, I don't really have a reason to, right? That, he's a garbage person, though. I have to play N. If I can get an Ultra Ball draw off this, I would be the happiest man. Ultra Ball, let's go. Oh, that's even better! I don't need this, um, I don't need this Nebs anymore. Now this man should feel like a fool. He's like, I just end him into a Sokaleo. Wow. <laughs> uh, right now I hit him for a million, because he has three EXs, which is a knockout. So I guess I can take advantage of that. I don't have the Soul Burst quite yet. Um, I don't want to play N, so I guess I'm going to just lose these VS Seekers. All these Nebbies, dude. I don't need you. Ne I don't need these Nebbies right now. Um... I do want to put down a Darkrai. I'm not going to put down another Sogaleo. So let me actually go ahead and do this. And uh, grab a Darkrai. He didn't attach any energies to anything else on the field. So I'm pretty good right now. <clears throat> I can play Parallel. And um... Actually probably not going to play Parallel. But I can attack I can attack this thing right here for knockout with Beastly Fang, because he has three EXs on the field, which means I'm doing 160 damage. Um, which is really nice, I guess. Uh, once I get a rainbow energy, I can start <clears throat> I can start setting up with Soul Burst. I want to get down a couple more Pokemon first though. Maybe some Nest Balls would be nice. <laughs> There's a DC, you can hit a max elixir. If he hits a max elixir, that's a knockout, which is gonna be a problem. I'm sorry guys. Oh, I wish I wasn't feeling so garbage. 
There's an experience share play. There's a, there's a parallel. Um, I don't know. He's putting down more and more EXs, so he has to he has to guarantee that he can knock me out because um, this Lysander can take out. Well, it's probably going to take out Volcanion because that's going to give him the most amount of damage boost. He needs to get a Max Elixir here. I don't know if he plays them or not. He does play them, which means he has to land it right now. Which, if he does, that's a dead. That is a dead Salamence, unfortunately. Not a big deal though, we still have um, my ability, so I can go out and... That did so much damage. <laughs> Damn weak this dude. Um, I have a couple options here. Since I lost Salamence, I can actually play parallel safely. Um, trainer Mail needs to give me some stuff. Let me see what I can get off Trainer Mail. Um, nothing, alright, dope. Dope. I could play N, but I really want to get down a Rainbow Energy this turn. So let me go ahead and play parallel, make him lose a bunch of Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna play Sycamore here because uh, I need to get a Rainbow Energy. I need to get a Dragon down. Like that's those are the two things I need to get. He can't knock out Sogaleo. I have 250 HP. I don't resist the Fairy, but I definitely he definitely can't knock me out. There's not enough Pokemon that he can put down. I don't think at least. I think the max damage is like 2300 or something like that. Um, the text is 30, 20, 30 more damage for each different type. So if you have um, say nine types on the bench, if you count the dual typing. 9, 18. Oh, I guess he could knock me out. Never mind. Well, he's not gonna. That's what matters. Alright, I'm not gonna attach this because I need to be sure to uh, get a rainbow energy. <clears throat> so we got everything that we needed here, which is phenomenal. Hopefully he can't knock me out. Um, I kind of do want to put down Shaman and hope that he doesn't, like, Lysander it. The, the worry here is that I don't have enough dragons on the field. I need one more dragon. Didn't get it. All right, well, we're gonna have to hope for the best here. We're gonna Soul Burst GX. We put, oh, we have two double dragon energy surprised. Um, that's that's a problem. One, two. Um, three, four. Oh man, that sucks. See, here's the thing. I want to attack with Sogaleo at some point, but do I have a Super Rod in the deck still? I don't think I do. Oh well, no Super Rod. Um, Alright, so we can only attack with Sogaleo once this game. We're not attacking for a lot of damage, actually. That kind of sucks. We're going to have to get our special, we're going to have to hope to get our special charge too. But we get one free knockout. And then we're gonna have one, two, three, four. I think I have to attack with Darkrai for a bit. Uh, I'll keep Sogaleo as like a last resort attacker. There is the Lysander, so he's gonna go ahead and knock out my um, Giratina. But then I just come in with Darkrai, one, two, three, four, five. That's 100, it's 120. Um, it's gonna be annoying. Is that a knockout? Yeah, he has 120 HP. So I can attack with Darkrai for a bit. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that sucks, but whatever. We can knock this thing out. This is the one with his max elixir too, so Let's see what I get off this. Um, I need my things, my special charge and stuff. I don't want to play. I want to play N more than anything. Is, is there a VS secret here? There's not. Um, I can save the big knockout with Sogaleo for like the end game. Let me grab Skyla so I can get my special charge because that's the biggest thing I need right now. Let me see if I have it though, that's the issue too. It might be prized. Yeah, of course it's prized. Why wouldn't it be prized? Some hot garbage, dude. Um. Yeah, that sucks. Let me, um, I can grab a belt at the very least. I'm reducing his damage by a lot so he can't knock me out unless he gets another thing. Let me go ahead and um, Dark Pulse here for knockout. He doesn't resist, right? Does he resist? Oh no, I keep forgetting that fairy types resist. Ah, I'm such an idiot. I'm so, I'm so bad at this game. Talk about unlucky though. I had two dark, uh, I had two double dragon energy prize. I couldn't get down my Pokemon and um, I had a lot of dark energy prize too. 
There's only three on the field. Is there? No, that's four. So I have a dark energy price, which is kind of big, because I want to keep my double, my rainbow energies, and my special charges prize too. So like, it's hard to come back from this. My prizes were, were kind of like, they're kind of hot right now, you know? Can you knock me out? I think you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, 14, 21, that's, that's a knockout. I don't like Pokemon. I'm gonna have to forfeit. Is that a knockout? Uh, it's such a bad game. Oh, I can't. I just lose. There's no forfeiting. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. But that's just the clunk of playing a a um, stage two deck. That's what you're gonna do. That sucked though. Those prizes were garbage, dude. Why is it that my prize game has been like like bad for me? It's been really bad for me lately. Like it's always the key stuff that are prized too, right? Like it's not even the stuff that I, I could like do without, you know. Because ideally, what I could have done was if I got those double dragon energies, I could have just preserved the uh, the dark ride for a bit, which would have been ideal. I guess I can put all these down. I don't have any draw support though, so I'm gonna have to put down everything that I can, and um, hope that I can get like a draw supporter or something. If not next turn, then the turn after. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do here. Evolving into Espeon which is resisted, which is good. Um, and because I'm dark red, I don't have to overextend on this. I have to, I have to be careful, because we learned yesterday that um, if you attach four energies to Giratina, it is a knockout from Espeon. So I don't want to, I don't want Espeon to uh, knock out my Giratina, so I'm not gonna put down more than one double dragon energy on that one. I can load up Sogaleo. Sogaleo does also resist Psychic, and I can also kind of load up Darkrai. I don't want to be confused, but I have Soul. I have a uh, Ultra Road, so I think I'll be okay there. He is playing Lunala with Espeon. That's kind of cool. I can dig it. I can dig it for sure. I can dig it. I hope he plays Wobbuffet too. He's gonna parallel me. Kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we got a Rainbow Energy though, at the very least. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and pass. And then next turn I can have a Soul Glaeo with Soul Burst and just set up my field a bit. There is a Cosmoem. Where's his draw supporter? Nope, he's just gonna side beam me. That's fine. 10 damage, confusion. I am gonna switch out and attack with Soul Burst this turn. Uh, we also got an Ultra Ball, which is not gonna help us too much right now. Uh, let me go ahead and do this. At the very least, we're getting out our Soul Glaeo relatively easily. Um, so I guess if that means anything. Let me go ahead and Ultra Road. Choose a bench Pokemon. I'm choosing Solgaleo. Um, and the cool thing about Soul Burst is that you're really emptying your deck of energies, which is great. Oh, we have all four now, but I can't even risk going for it. Um, let me go ahead and attach um, all three here to Solgaleo. Um, I guess I could prize one, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Let me attach him to Dark Ride as well. Um, let me attach one to Solgaleo so I can use Soul Burst. Um, I don't want to attach too many, like I've already, I could attach one dark energy. Um, is this my last one? One, two, three, four, this is my last one, right? <laughs> I could get away with attaching one. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll attach one. I don't know, that's such, that's such an easy knockout. Oh, uh, whatever, I'll do it anyways. I'll just attach double dragon energies as the game goes on, you know, like you usually do in Dark Tina. A draw supporter would be phenomenal though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna flex. Looks like we're both kind of stuck right here though. But I'm gonna get two prizes with this Sunsteel, or I could attack with Dark Ray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 160. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, oh, he's gonna try to side beam me again. I guess I can go into Giratina and not get knocked out, attack with Dark Ray. But I'm not, it's, I'm not knocking him out either. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 160, Yeah, it's, 100, it's only 180. If I had, oh, wait a minute, I have the energy right here. They don't resist dark, do I? Do you? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, that is 160 plus 2180. Right, so I can go, I'm going to go into Giratina. I don't want my Dark Rai taking a lot of damage because my Dark Rai is my win con. He goes into Espeon, which is very odd. Uh, I don't have a reason to put down that. I can actually Ultra Ball. Here, relative, I should Ultra Ball now, shouldn't I? Sure, Ultra Ball now. Let me go ahead and grab a uh, Shaman. <clears throat> I hope I don't regret that. Um, getting a Lysander 
plus a energy here would be really nice. Any energy at all would be great. Um, oh, we whiffed the energy, but we do have draw supporters. We're definitely not playing N. That is 100%. Let me see if I can get parallel off this. Oh, wait a minute. I can't get parallel. I need to get delinquent. Um, nothing of use here. I got my own parallel, but I need delinquent, right? Um, let me actually drop parallel just so I don't draw it later. <clears throat> no delinquent, unfortunately. Um, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get it soon. A delinquent sooner than later would be really nice. Um, there's our delinquents, which is great. Um, no energy still, though. Oh my god, how did I do that? Um, let me go ahead and Ultra Road. Let me put up my Darkrai. I guess I just start attacking. I can play delinquent next turn. Ultra Ball. And um, he'll have zero hands still. I need to get an energy, so maybe I'll Ultra Ball for like... Can I get energy off that, please? Yes? No, no energy. Um, we got we got a uh, we got a Lysander too. Other thing to keep in mind. As long as we can keep his hand empty, we might win. And there it is. Dope. The setup was really nice that game, but I am I am still like I still kind of want to be able to put down a second Dragon Pokemon easier, so I don't have to put all my eggs in one basket. But as you can see, the desk the deck list is really tight. I don't know what I would drop. I don't like dropping trainer mails. Like trainer mails are usually like my last resort drop because of the fact that rare candy is a thing. I could drop Skyla though and put in one nest ball. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to regret it if I do. I know I will. I usually do. Uh, all right, we'll get one more game. I know that I gave you guys an hour and 10 minute video. Do you know how annoying it is? Like, it's cool to record those long videos for you guys, but man, editing them is annoying because the render time is usually double the, the, um, double the episode length. So like, I have to sit there with my computer blazing hot for two hours, <laughs> which is awful for my computer. So, uh, like I do the hour long specials here and there whenever I really, really want to record a video for you guys or like it's like a like a thing, like a thank you very much thing. But anyways, common question of the day. Oh my god. Uh, common question of the day. What can I what can I what can I ask? Oh yeah, who is your favorite cover legendary? Um you can't really count red and blue or yellow because they're Pikachu in them. This is kinda garbage. Um this is actually really garbage. If I get an ultra ball here, it's less garbage. But if I don't, it's more garbage. Oh, we're playing Decidueye too, so that's it's gonna be even more garbage if they get out like a bunch of Pokemon. Hopefully they can whiff the uh, they whiff the three Decidueyes, because that's gonna mean that's gonna mean my Cosmog's never gonna be hit the field, and I don't two shot um, unless I get a belt either. Actually, no, I don't even two shot if I do get a belt. I three shot with Giratina. Ugh, that would what a pain in the ass. Um, all right. Oh yeah, today's code. 4ZC, JB4B, 7P2, TWQ. As far as like my, oh, he's an enemy. My favorite my favorite cover legendary, I don't know. I don't like, even though fourth gen is my favorite, I hate the design of Dark Ryan and Palkia. Um, Reshram and Zekrom, they, they feel fake to me, so I'm not a big fan of them either. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of go like, sixth gen was Eveltal Xerneas. Uh, I guess Eveltal is cool. I don't know, I like Lunala more. Um, let's see, third gen was Kyogre Groudon, Carlos really likes, uh, Mr. Spacework really likes Kyogre, I'm not, that's not me. Second gen was, oh, Lugia's dope, Lugia and ho -Oh are so cool. Ah, man, Lugia, ho -Oh or Lunala. I just love the way Lunala looks, dude, the design on Lunala is actually top class. That's actually amazing. I have a delinquent here. Oh my god, delinquenting them would be kind of savage. Uh, I'm gonna grab it. Um... Skyla too. Um, no draw supporters though. I think I have to play delinquent. And then put down a parallel. Um, oh well. That's gonna be how it goes. Um, put delinquent. No draw supporters. Um, I just have to empty my hand for Shaman, that's all. Plus, it, uh, like if I can get down a Cosmog this turn, and my, if I can get down Cosmog parallel this turn, I'm in a pretty decent position. Um, there's a thunderstorm, so forgive the noise. What did he drop? He, oh, he has a Fia Seeker in hand. That sucks. Um, that sucks for me. Let me go ahead and play parallel. Um, let me just bench him. Um, I'll attach an energy because I kind of have to. And I'll play Shaman here. Let's see. Can I get a Cosmog? Oh, come on. Give me an Ultra Ball right now. 
Let's get this garbage. Why is this happening? All right. So I'm gonna lose two Solgaleos next turn, unless he ends me again, <laughs> which he's not going to because he has a Sycamore in hand. So I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna lose two Solgaleos, and do I even have Super Rod in this deck? Because I'm pretty sure Super Rod was, was prized in the last game. Not the last game, but the game, the first game that I lost. Um, I don't know. I have to double check if I even have Super Rod in this deck. Because sometimes I forget adding cards that are like kind of staples. You know, I usually have like a for review page that gives me all my staple cards put down, but sometimes I'm just I just forget. So what is he gonna do? He's gonna play Sycamore, right? And that's what you do. I did link into him way early. I could have played Skyla, but then I wouldn't be able to draw as much uh, with Shaman. Even though the Shaman draw led to nothing at all, which is some hot garbage. Does he have a DC? He's also playing weakness policy. This man is taking a page off my book with the weakness policy. I'm a fan. Um, the only thing- oh, he's gonna use Hollow Hunt straight up. Man, if I had N right now, that'd be kind of lit. Let me see what he's grabbing. I have to get more Sun and Moon codes. I have a bunch that I have to put into my computer, but I haven't done that yet. I did just trade a bunch of codes just for like a bunch of cards yesterday. He's putting back a Stadium. A trainer's Mail and Ultra Ball. Ugh, what a pain. Ah, uh, two Sycamores. Get this hot garbage out of here. Um, I don't think you can knock me out next turn, but I am going to lose a lot of good stuff here, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, now I get you, freaking jerk. Um, let me just put down my stuff, I guess. Um, I guess I could Skyla next turn for a rare candy, get Solgaleo, and continue to hate myself. Um, <laughs> because then I need, like, a rare, I need, like, I need so many things. If I could just top deck a, uh, if I could just top deck a rare candy, that would make my life so much easier, because then I could Sycamore. So, like, Bless me with with that, please. Don't let him get don't let him get three deciduous. Come on. Oh, I'm recording this on Valentine's Day, which is not the day I'm uploading this. So uh, happy late Valentine's Day. You can all be my late Valentine if you want. I'm okay with that. Your boy is not doing anything because he has a bunch of exams. Um, he has a bunch of exams. And uh, living the single life for a bit. Was engaged. Lost the engagement. Um, it's been a bit though since then. Oh god. He's gonna get all three down. This is one of my favorite decks to play. This is actually one of the first decks I wanted to do that um, that thing I was telling you guys about where like I kinda. I, I do. Oh, okay. He's gonna play that. As long as he doesn't get our, his last Decidueye down, we're okay. Um, don't get it. Don't get it. Yeah, this is one of the first decks I was telling you guys about where I want to play that thing where I uh, have a competitive version like after testing and everything like that I would uh, put it on the channel and play like a couple games with that like with a comp with a list that I'm confident with Okay, don't get the Sidui down. Yes. No That sucks This is a uh, this is a this is bad. This is annoying This is so annoying. I can't believe he got all three down Right when I got rare candy, Solgaleo too. Ugh, what a pain. He better not. He's gonna go for the Cosmo, because why wouldn't he? But um, that's kind of annoying still. Oh, he didn't go for it. Yes, that's great. I think he's trying to knock out my. Um, yeah, he's, he's really going for the knockout here. He's not gonna get it yet, but I can I can appreciate what he's doing. I have Ultra Road, so I can actually Soul Burst next turn. Uh, if he attacks me though, plus Feather Arrow, that's gonna be really annoying. So um, he's gonna do 90 damage here. Putting me out 170, which is a knockout, right? Oh, he just knocks me. He actually does knock me out. Oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> My B. <laughs> oh, that was embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let me go ahead and set up a dark ray. So even with that, we got really. We're getting like extremely lucky with the Sogaleo at the very least. Um. Let me go ahead, I don't have an N, I might as well just draw, you know, who cares, right? Let's Ultra Ball here for a Dark Ray. No need to play Mens, but I do want to play down another Dragon just for Double Dragon beauties. <laughs> that man did some mad math in his head, though. 
All right, we got another dragon down. And we also have a special charge, which is a good thing to put back my special energies with. Um, let me actually play that, just so I can put back the double dragon, because I'm going to need that to attach all my Pokemon. Um, pretty decent hand, though. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Soul Burst here. I'm going to attach... Oh, we have one. No, oh, no, it's in our hand. Never mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attach to... Let me attach the double. Uh, you know what? I need to have Darkrai set up. At the very least, I need to have one energy on Darkrai. Let me get one double dragon energy on each Pokemon. And I think... <sighs> okay, here's a question. Do I attach the double dragon energy? and um, Or do I set up a Solgaleo? I think I set up a Solgaleo. Because Solgaleo... Solgaleo doesn't knock out Decidueye. Does he? No, he doesn't. Alright, so that means I have to set up a Darkrai. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 180, it's not enough to knock out yet. Um, 182, actually I think it is if I attach it, oh I can't attach a double dragon. Okay, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140, 160. Uh, 160, that's 200, um, if I attach that here, 220, not enough for a knockout quite yet. I'm going to have to wait a couple of turns. Uh, let me go ahead and attach a double dragon though. I'll attach it to... which one has more HP? I'm pretty sure this does. So it's not going to be a knockout yet. I could Lysander if I get like a VS Seeker. Actually, I don't think I even have a Lysander down here. No, I don't. So if I, if I get like a Lysander, I could attach a Solgaleo and Lysander. But I what I ideally want to do is attach a Darkrai and start doing the damage. God, these Decidueyes, dude, they're so good because they have so much HP. Like, people are sleeping on Decidueye because they just, they think just because it's a stage 2, like, the deck, like, 20 damage is not a lot of damage, you know what I mean? Like, I can understand what they mean to, oh, God, come on, don't do this to me. The only thing he gets a knockout on is, um, Shaman, so I guess you could take advantage of that. Um, that should make the game easier for him, right? He's gonna go for this again, though. 20, 40, 60. Oh, we're just gonna weaken Sokaleo straight up. Once again, all I have to do is Ultra Road. Oh, man, I wish, I wish I had more energy attachments. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, that's, that's a knockout, right? I'm, am I going crazy? I feel like, oh, it's not a knockout because I can't have another Dark Energy attached. Razor Leaf. Oh, he's going to try to go for the 2 KO. Oh, I see you. Um, let me, let me, I don't want to parallel. Actually, I kind of do want to parallel, but I want to parallel myself. Let me do that, actually. Um, let me get rid of my Shaman. Let me attach to Darkrai. Uh, I'm going to Ultra Road. I'm going to bring out my Salamence. And I'm not going to play Sycamore yet. I'm going to go ahead and use Beastly Fang. Um, it does 110 at the very least. I guess I'm better off going for a Dragon Strike because it does more damage. Sure, I'll Dragon Strike here. Because the thing is, next turn, I can knock out this one and then I can knock out another um, another Decidueye because he's not going to put down enough damage on Darkrai to knock me out. But ideally, I get some, um, I get some belts. He needs a Lysander again. But I've already weakened this one enough to where Darkrai will knock it out regardless. Uh, he needs a Lysander though. He can knock it out the following turn, which means I'm attaching to uh, Salamence, which sucks. Um, not for, unless he plays like a de-evolution spray. He needs to get a stadium and a de-evolution spray. That'd be kind of wild if he does. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Okay, we're good. That gets Oko straight up, so I'm not worried about that. Unless he gets a belt down. Even if he does get a belt down, I'm pretty sure I can still Oko it. So that's not a worry at all. Yeah, there it is. Uh, he's on poke me for 60, I guess. I'm just going to Ultra Road into my Darkrai and then just destroy this thing. Although I'd rather destroy Decidueye. I'm not going to lie. Um, we got another Darkrai. Oh, that sucks. I'm going to Lysander out. I'm going to lose my last Darkrai, dude. Let me go ahead and uh, Ultra Ball here. I mean, Sycamore here. I'm down to nine cards. Um, I guess I could technically set up some Solgaleo knockouts. But there's no point. I'm just going to Ultra Road and knock this thing out. Um, oh, I still don't have a Lysander. What is wrong with this game, dude? How come I'm never getting... We're doing 260 damage. That is wild. Um, how come I never get my Lysanders? Lysander right now? Yes, there it is. All right, cool. So we can knock this one out. 
And then, uh, well, can we? We're losing 20, 40. We're, do, we're losing uh, 40 damage, which we're only doing 220. But we can attach, and then we're going back to normal. So I think we can win this game. He's just he's he's going for the, he's he's just knocking that out, uh, which is actually a good play for him because all he has to do is knock out one more Pokemon and he wins, which is uh, so annoying. We're gonna have to play N here, I think, instead of Lysander. He can't knock out anything else, and he also can't even attack me, which is great. He can only do a couple more Feather Arrows. So, um, we're gonna have to hope for the best here. A Hex Maniac would have been kind of dope. Do I even play Hex? I don't think I do. Actually, no, I'm pretty positive I do, actually. I think Hex Maniac would solidify the game for me if I just played it next turn. But, you know, all those cards... Because, like, what's the point of getting supporters if you can't even draw them, you know what I mean? Like, I play these one-offs so I can discard them right away, and then it doesn't happen. Uh, which is so weird for me, cause like, this has been like, this has been a really tough couple of days when it comes to, uh, when it comes to TCG. Just because like, things have just not been working. So 40, if he does another 60, it's 100, plus 90 is a knockout. I need to get a Fighting Fury belt, which once again, plenty of in the deck, just haven't drawn them. Um, let me just go ahead and start Ultra Balling, get some stuff down. Um, I can knock this out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um... I'll grab that just to get out of the deck, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 200, 220 damage. With one of these, it's 240. I'm going to attach this. So that's a knockout here. Um, no Hex Maniac, unless I'm like tripping and it's, and it's actually down here, which I don't think it is. Unfortunately, it's not. So when I play N... I'm gonna have to, well, I'm gonna have to get a Fighting Fury belt, which is no way for me to do that unless I know for certain that there is a Super Rod down there, which if there is, I'm gonna be pretty mad. I'm gonna have to play N though. Um, I'm gonna have to play N and then hope I get my Lysander again so I can win the game next turn. So I think that's like my only play. Unless I'm missing something, I'm pretty sure it's my only play. <laughs> we got our belt, thank God. God, alright. So we have Belt. We don't have Lysander, though. But Belt makes us survive next turn, at the very least. We also didn't get our Hex. He can only do 40 damage next turn with Feather Arrow. Um, if he attacks us, that's another 90. So 40 plus 90 is not a knockout. We can go ahead and Dark Pulse here for knockout, though. 250 damage. So Solgaleo really saw us in helping us set up very nicely. Um, a Nebby and a Dark... We don't have Lysander, but I think we win this game. <laughs> I think he brought this out knowing that we win this game. Well, what he can do is, uh... 80... Oh, he has another situation down. Oh, I think he won. Never mind. Oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> 60 damage plus a DCE attachment. Um, oh, and Lysander. Does he have the per... Did he get the perfect hand? Because that would be wild. He got the perfect hand, didn't he? That is some crazy shit if he got the perfect hand. Let me see the DC and Lysander. No, no, never mind. We're good. GG. Um, I guess. Let me actually uh, Soul Burst. Cause that's, that's her. Um, let me uh, Sunsteel Strike because that's way more fun. <laughs> Sunsteel Strikey! Alright, never mind, never mind. Dude, imagine if he got Lysander DCE off that. That would have been wild. Lysander DCE Revitalizer. Perfect hand. There's our Hex. It was prized, of course. We don't have any of our... Um, we don't have any of our two... What's it called? Prized. Which is kind of weird. Usually um, usually they're prized whenever you can't draw them very easily. But not that time. Um, but yo. The deck is kind of fun. I really like it. Uh, we did lose one game, but that's fine. We won the other game. We won against the Sidgwai Tour, which is a very good deck. So, At least in my eyes. Oh, I've had pretty good success with it. Um, here's a deck list, though. Let me know what you guys would change. Uh, I definitely would recommend Nest Balls. Just because maybe I don't need the Skyla. They, it definitely never came through. So maybe a Nest Ball over the Skyla. Uh, it is storming pretty hard, though. So I'm sorry if you guys hear all that nonsense. I'm going to try my best to uh, reduce that noise. Um, 
in the editing. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, share all that good jazz. Let me know who your favorite cover legendary is and why. I think mine is Lunala. My favorite colors are purple. I'm a very dark kind of guy. Like, I like dark colors a lot. Uh, Lunala's a freaking moon bat. Um, to me, that's amazing. I love Lunala so much. Design-wise, it's my favorite. Um... Let me know what your favorite is down below. I will be giving out codes as well as our Full Art Shaman and Full Art Sycamore on PTCGO when I hit 1,000 subscribers. We're close. We're at 9.45 and I'm uploading this. So we are so close. We have 18 days until the cutoff date. So if we can do it, we get we do the giveaway, which is I'm so excited about. I'm pretty excited for the giveaway. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, share all the good jazz. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.